Ladies and gentlemen, I have poured over 2,300 matches played on Spider Tanks since the release of the game. Today, I'm going to be telling you about all of the juicy details I've learned. So, I mean, I guess I'll save you a metric ton of time. We're going to be touching base on this over here. We're going to be touching base on my experience and a lot more. So, if you enjoy this kind of content, as always... Enjoy the video, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Now, I wanted to start with what most people are probably here for, and that's the earnings for Spider Tanks. Uh, Spider Tanks is a play and earn game where you hop on and similar to the Axie Infinity model, uh, you can actually go ahead and play on this program called the Pilot Program. The Pilot Program gives you a random tank. As you can see, the tank is gonna randomly keep shifting from a pool of people that own tanks that have decided to rent out to you. Another thing that this game has is it has an honor system. There is an honor system. It goes from 300 to 1200. You start the game out a dishonorable, as I saw a YouTube video recently, and you go all the way to 1200 honor. This is actually really important because when you start the game, you start earning significantly less than the player that has 1200 honor. So the people that have stuck around, the people that have done all the positive interactions to gain that higher level of honor, they're earning probably significantly more than you'd be earning when you first get into this game. Another big thing that I do want to stress here is uh, playing Spider Tanks does take skill if you're trying to earn Silk. Silk is the native currency uh, for the ecosystem. And in terms of multipliers, if you're Aspire 1, the lowest rank, you're earning 25% of what a deity player makes. I think the highest rank in the game right now is Mythic 3. We just started a new season. But you can see that once you get around Legend 1, you're pretty much going to be earning full VP. And this is going to become really important, I promise you, later on. You're going to want to hear why, but this is probably the most important part of the Spider Tanks ecosystem if you are a free-to-play player. If you're not wanting to spend any money, you're just trying to play a game, and you're trying to have fun, this is the thing that you really need to focus on. There are a lot of resources out there that are made specifically for people that play a lot or people that are very good at the game. And this is called the Pilot Contract Program. Now, this over here uh, was recently introduced in May during the May Mayhem for Gala Games. And this has to do with the dropship system. The dropship system is for people that own tanks. And this is how you would get your tanks on the Pilot Program. They go ahead and just put tanks on there and rent them out. Now, here's something I will say. By the way, use code Classy. Uh, I did want to go ahead and pinpoint the fact that there are contracts here. So you could actually give it to specific people. In this case, I gave it to myself. And you could see here, uh, you could click this little change contract thing. You'd have your little contract there. And you'd be able to choose that tank and play with it. So there is direct lending in this game. It's not like you're always going to be playing random tanks. If you can go on the Spider Tanks Discord and go ahead and hop onto the pilot program chat, you're going to notice a lot of people are looking for solid pilots to be able to play the game and earn some silk. But do keep in mind that you need to have a higher level honor and you need to have a decent rank to be able to earn pretty much anything, right? Like I got 174 silk yesterday, but I do want to disclose I own an ancient tank and several other things. So that is an important factor to consider. Now, in terms of how many games you need to play with each tank, if you're doing the direct lending system where you're getting a contract over here and you're just going through with it, this is what you need to keep in mind. You don't have to play 20 wins on a tank, okay? You don't have to do it. What you should do, this is the classy way of going, is 6 to 10 wins. Because by the 6th win, you've already gotten almost 80%, okay? And from 6 to 10, you're just getting another maybe 20%. So, if you are thinking about it, it's kind of worth it to go 6 to 8-ish. Because by the 8th win, you're already at 90%. Like, by 8 wins, you, you might as well just, like, run away. Because from 8 to 10, you get, what, 4 to 5% difference? So, for a lot of people, they just switch tanks after 8 wins. That, for the most part, is what people are doing in the ecosystem. Uh, this is just what makes sense, right? That makes a lot of sense. Now, next thing I want to talk about is there are a lot of opportunities that Gala gives, like a lot of opportunities for free stuff. So for example, this thing over here, this Roman plume, I didn't have before. I didn't buy this with my money. I literally got it from the May Mayhem Rewards. Another thing I got was this emergency light. Uh, apparently they give it graduation now, which is actually surprisingly good. Energy gate is a really strong stat in this game. Don't underestimate this thing because it's actually pretty good. 
Another one that was really solid here was the present prop for elemental damage. Amazing. A way to know if your tank has elemental damage is if you click on it, you're going to see over up there damage type. You see that? It says physical. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. If it's shooting giant rays of fire, then it's probably elemental. If it's shooting bullets, then it's a physical damage tank. Surprisingly, though, I didn't learn about this for a very long time. So don't feel bad if you don't know this, because not even I knew this. Uh, something with the shooting range that I do want to showcase, this is, by the way, very quick tip, very quick classy tip, is uh, if you go to the health packs here, let me go ahead and get hit. You see how he got hit, and then he took it, right, and then it just started going green? This ticks down, right? And when it ticks down to this one here, it spawns the health pod. Who knows? I didn't know this until, like, 2,000 games in, okay? Like, alpha. Alpha. That's what all this video is, is alpha. But, yeah, anyway, so you got contracts there. Uh, you've got props. you got all these things. If you're trying to ask me what the best props are right now for the cheap builds, for very, very cheap, affordable stuff, uh, physical damage prop is the Viking helmet. It's so cheap. So many people have it. And it's actually really good. 2.5% physical damage, 2.5% health. For the people that are a little bit more expensive, you get more speed with Snell Totes. It's like 0.1 ETH though, so it's kind of expensive. Uh, for the elemental damage, I'm going to be honest, I'm a, I'm a Coinbase lover. I'm a Coinbase lover. I'm a present prop lover. They're pretty much free, and you can go very far away. Uh, for the people that are using skins, I like the Coinbase skin. It's really, really affordable for people doing elemental damage. And then for the people that want physical damage, Thrill Seeker is really good. Like, it's super solid. It does a ton of work. It'll get you to where you need to go, to say the least. Something else you should know about this game is that a level 30 tank, no matter the rarity, will perform the same exact way if the upgrades match up what am i talking about in terms of upgrades well when i click on this upgrade button right here you're going to see that there is an upgrade score when i go ahead and upgrade this tank uh, something you're going to notice is if you're looking at the stats just look at it really quick you got plus nine armor 0.91 speed and then point blah 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 energy i'm going to go ahead and re-roll this right now live so that you can see the difference between a decent upgrade and a great upgrade you're gonna see the great upgrade has plus 30 it's a massive difference it's not even close plus two and then uh you know almost double no i think it's like triple the energy per second there's a massive difference between upgrade scores and trust me upgrade scores are extremely important here's your upgrade guide on spider tanks in 15 seconds or less zero to 15 levels you need to do per perfect only only perfect upgrades. I don't care how many rerolls it takes. You do perfect upgrades only 0 to 15 levels. After 15, you take excellence only until at least level 27. Excellence and up. So excellence and perfects. And then after that, you take greats and up. And for the most part, you're going to get an affordable tank that can compete at the highest level and the highest echelons of spider tanks and will be earning you a good amount of victory points. So there's your upgrade guide on spider tanks. That's all you got to know. It's, uh, I don't know how much it is to upgrade a tank fully right now. I remember I upgraded my, my ancient, excuse me, my common tortoise. This thing was beautiful, by the way. I love the tortoise. I did it like for like four hours on stream, just perfects only. Don't do perfects only. It's so expensive. It was like $700 or something like that. Something absurd. I think my T-Rex was like $200 or something like that. It was, it was so much cheaper and it came out pretty similar. Like, it literally does almost the same thing. I just didn't do it all perfect. So, don't think that you need to do all perfects. Just use the blueprint 0 to 15 perfect, 15 to 27 excellent, and then, you know, the rest great and up. And you'll be perfectly fine. You'll be happy. Just don't do decents. If you do a decent, if anybody in this video does a decent, I'm coming after you. And you're not going to like it. All right. So, now that we've talked about this, Spider Tanks, 3v3 MOBA, it's doing pretty damn well in terms of daily active users. It's probably one of the most popular Gala games right now. I don't know how many daily active users Townstar has. I do know there's a big, you know, community over at Townstar, so big shout out to Townstar. But Spider Tanks has been doing really well lately. They have doubled, if not tripled, their DAU over the past month. Uh, a big reason for it is they've actually adapted their economic model. And people are earning significantly more than they were earning before. Now, 
how and why are they earning more? Well, they're earning more because of the fact that we, they've changed the victory point system. Every time you play spider tanks, you gain victory points for being a part of the program. That's what I was talking about in terms of earning more. You earn 25% at the first rank, 100% at the top rank. You're competing to earn victory points. And these victory points every single day at 8 p.m. Eastern time, the servers reset. And then at 11.30 p.m. Eastern time, uh, you know, put this in your wherever you need to put it, your calendar. You get your silk, right? The distribution happens. For now, the distribution's been ranging somewhere around 300 victory points for one silk, all the way to 600 victory points for one silk. However, here's a disclosure here. It's been as bad as 30,000 victory points for one silk. But this is, of course, with the old model. Uh, they have changed the model, and it's been consistent for the past one and a half months. So, in terms of a one and a half month, timeline it's pretty good it's actually really good in terms of earnings uh I, I think it's been going all over the place it's been doing its thing as you know things tend to do but yeah in terms of victory points you do kind of you know have to worry about victory points it's very important anyway going back into it let's talk about how to play the game well well i uh I kind of did a little bit of a run. I think I climbed way too fast, by the way. Don't do that. The game is so much faster at the bottom, it's not even funny. But anyway, uh, here's the weapon tier list. Pause the video if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that there. Very wonderful tanks. Uh, this is a tier list for people that are new to the game. Don't think this is a tier list for, like, the best players in the game. Literally, like, if you're bad at the game or if you're, like, just getting into it, just, like, follow this tier list. You're going to like all the tanks at the top, and you're probably not going to like the tanks at the bottom. In terms of abilities, once again, just go ahead, pause it, look whatever you need to do. Uh, heal's really important. Please take repair drone or repair zone every single game. It's really good, and it will keep you alive. And keeping yourself alive is extremely important in this game. Another thing is uh, please practice, right? Practice on the shooting range. Another thing is uh, no matter what you do, you will make mistakes. So make sure you go ahead and uh, identify those mistakes and how beat yourself much up exactly over it. Because the better you get, the more you're going to be earning. And the more you're going to be getting better. Who doesn't want to get better at video games? Anyway, uh, for the most part, it's just consistency, right? Like, learning terminologies that you're going to learn, right? Like, if you're new to games, it's going to take you a long time to get good at spider tanks. If you're not new to games, you've been playing for decades, you're probably going to be pretty good at spider tanks from the get-go. I think of spider tanks, and this is the last hot take we're going to have here. I think of spider tanks more as a mobile game than anything. You know, this is a mobile multiplayer online battle arena game. It's on PC exclusive right now. I do think... At some point, it's probably going mobile. I mean, this game feels like a mobile game by all decrees. And overall, uh, you know, the economic model, it's still to be tested. It's working right now. We don't know where it's going to be uh, three, five, seven, ten a year from now. We have no idea, right? There's no way of calculating what the markets are going to do, how the distribution is going to go, how the tank sales are going to go. So many different things. Like... It, there's so many uncertainties because we're still so early in this space. People are just trying out literally anything and hoping it sticks that, you know, the game's great. I like spider tanks. I just, you know, I'm not the most convinced that the spider tanks economic model is the best model. But the problem is I don't know what the best model is, right? I, I don't know any crypto game that's doing it right right now so if we can get to a point where the whole pay to win thing it becomes an okay thing because you know it'd be a mobile port mobile games are striped with pay to win and we get to this point where the economic model has been proven sustainable it's been one and a half months it's sustainable so far we don't know how it's going to be in a year if it's sustainable in a year then okay People are going to be a lot more comfortable. People are going to be a lot more in the mindset of, okay, I'm just going to grab this skin, kind of like a CSGO skin, uh, grab a tank, have some fun with it, and do whatever I want with them. Another very big thing is, uh, you know, Spider Tanks as a game uh, does market itself as an esports game. But, like, let's be honest, it's not an esports game right now. Uh, we are doing a lot of things. Now, I'm personally doing a couple things. We're going to have a couple tournaments coming up. I have been hosting esports tournaments uh, for Gala Games and... 100% free. Guys, all I asked for, all I asked for is a simple click of links.gala.com slash classy crypto. You click on this beautiful link, puts a beautiful cookie on your browser and a percentage of all purchases on the Gala Games platform for 45 days. Go to classy. That's how we fund the channel. Uh, I don't have a sponsorship right now with Gala Games, but 
I am more than happy to talk about games that I'm interested in. And this game happens to be that game. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know if you want to hear more about Spider Tanks. We're 15 minutes in. I don't want to take up more of your time. But with that being said, as always, like and subscribe. And until the next time, stay classy. And that's all.